Hello and welcome to the first tutorial video for Alibre Atom 3D. This video is going to cover the Alibre Atom 3D home window, which is the first thing that pops up after you launch the application. The Alibre Atom 3D home window is kind of like the control center of Alibre Atom 3D. And the kinds of things that you can do in the home window are open documents, create new models and drawings, access your recently created documents, uh, and then access other things like training and things like that. So we're going to start on the home tab of the home window and go through these one by one. Uh, the open is pretty self-explanatory. This will let you browse your file system and find documents that you'd like to open or import from other systems. Uh, create new, you have three options here. You can create new parts. You can create a new assembly, which is multiple parts uh, coming together into one final design or you can create a 2D drawing. For the recent files, there's just a few things to know. Um, you have this eye icon that you can click on, and this toggles several visibility-related options to your recent documents. And so why might you want to use this? Well, if you're in a meeting, for example, uh, maybe you're projecting something to a client, and you don't want them seeing you know, all the other client work that you've been up to, you can just hide this and that'll, uh, that'll solve that problem for you. Most of the time you'll leave this on so that you can quickly access your own work. Uh, for the previews themselves, you'll see that each preview is made up of several parts. We have um, the name along with what kind of object it is. So in this case, it's a part. In this case, it's an assembly. Um, in this case, it's an assembly. And then if you hover over the items, you'll see there's a little bit of information. So this is uh, cylinder is the part name. It was last modified. Uh, there's the file size. And then the last thing is if you right click on these, it'll open up the uh, Windows Explorer uh, to the location of that file. And so just be aware that you can kind of quickly find uh, the location of files by right clicking on their preview. Next, we'll go to the Explore tab. And this is where you can access training, help, and the user community. So it's a good resource for different kinds of exercises, uh, video training, sample parts, which is really good to kind of open things up and see how they were made. And then the community down here is really helpful for new users especially because you can pop on there and ask questions, ask experienced Delibre users, you know, the best approach that you might take to design something, get your problem solved quickly, things like that. Uh, and then once you're making some cool stuff, feel free to post it in the customer gallery and show it off. We're not going to go into the utilities tab. It's an advanced thing and you don't need to worry about it right now.